everybody, what's up? Well, Spain did it. They beat the Netherlands 1-0 to win the World Cup. Big time stuff for Spain. Now they said during this game that 700 million people would see it. 700 million, I said, what? I better do a video on this. I can reach out to my international peeps and maybe I'll get up to a thousand views on this video. Whoo, that's reaching for the stars for me. I'll keep my fingers crossed on that. Now I'd love to say, what a great game, fantastic match, brilliant football, but I can't. That was just rough. That was terrible, it was horrid. Horrible, what was that? Here's an impression of me watching the first half. Here's me watching the second half. Here's me when it was over. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> it was just tough to watch. It was sloppy, there were a ton of missed opportunities, there was a bald-headed ref getting more face time than LeBron. My goodness, this guy gave out 14 yellow cards and a red card. It was a pretty forgettable World Cup final for most of us. But for Spain and their fan base, anything but forgettable. This is the most memorable accomplishment in that country's sporting history, by far. It's the first time they've ever won a World Cup. And they're going crazy right now. I wish I was in Spain right now partying with the senoritas. I'd be saying, Andres Iniesta, he's my cousin. Yes, the guy who scored the winning goal. We're related. That's what I'd be doing right now over there. So congratulations to Spain. Even though it wasn't pretty and it wasn't poetry in motion, it was effective on the biggest stage with the biggest possible prize in sports. Spain is just fine with that outcome. I'm Brian No, and that's a World Cup no-brainer.